McMahon throws short and complete. Chris Carter down to the Kansas City 43-yard line, a couple of yards short of a first down. Albert Lewis on the tackle. Dale Carter, Albert Lewis, the corners of the Chiefs, they play everybody physical and tough. Look at what Carter and Lewis are locked up in. I mean, obviously you're allowed to chuck within five yards. I don't think you're allowed to maul in five <laughs> yards, and Albert Lewis just did a mauling. But still, I mean, he wasn't holding them. He just kept contact. Pro Bowl corner Albert Lewis has had at least one interception in each of his last five and has 38. Graham on the delay. To the Here comes the trap. But now you see when March closed, I don't think he gave Graham... Graham behind Tunnell. Sandwich. Kicks out. Tunnell kicks out. Scotty Graham has really made a reputation. Fake the reverse. McMahon deep. Chris Carter. Touchdown. There's a flag down, but it looks like it will be interference against Dale Carter. Pass interference, number 34, defense, penalty declined, touchdown. Great throw, great catch. Good play selection. They fake the reverse to Anthony Carter, and they let Chris run a corner on Dale Carter. It's fake to Carter, Carter cover, Carter catch, touchdown Carter. <laughs> And Chris Carter with his eighth touchdown catch of the year. On this particular replay, the fake by Anthony Carter, McMahon fakes, but watch Derek Thomas. He's barely going to get anywhere. Carter's going to come in, Chris, and head for the corner. The play action and the blocking by the line up front of what really sells is McMahon has a lot of time to make a great thing. You know, Jim McMahon really is an overall better game this year. He really fought the move. Third and two, McMahon hangs in the pocket. Chris Carter, first down, out to the 23-yard line. Around McMahon, Jimmy steps up, and the Vikings are executing their game plan to perfection. Three yards, three yards, completion, move the sticks. The double team is a point that uh, Neil Smith made to us last night. That Thomas hasn't had a chance to get that many sacks because of the blocking. Graham cuts it outside again. And Chris Carter threw him an outstanding block downfield. The five. Here comes the blitz. McMahon with time for the end zone. Chris Carter takes down. And Dale Carter is right in the face of the official and gets a flag. Ah, oh, that's just stupid football right there. He slams his helmet down. That's going to get you 15 instantly. He was a quarter of an inch away from the official's face, screaming at him. Chris Carter and Dale Carter have been hand fighting all day. McMahon just goes back. They're good crossing route underneath and just hangs it up. Now there they are. They're in a hand fight. Chris Carter pushes off. You can call it incidental contact. And that's what I think it was. McMahon, perfect throw again. There's the pushing. One-handed leap. One foot down, the other foot down. He jams him once. He puts his hand on him. Now he tries to move his hand. He tries to grip him. I just think that's just a great job by a wide receiver and a perfectly thrown ball. Kings extend their lead to 17-3. The scoring drive, five plays, 73 yards. Chris Carter with his second touchdown pass of the night from Jim McMahon. On both occasions, they beat cornerback Dale Carter. This is in the first half. After a little of arm fighting, Chris Carter with the diving catch in the corner of the end zone. Then in the third quarter, Jimmy Mack comes back. Same man, same result, same defender. And it's 20 to 3. No one for Kansas City posted the big numbers. Jim McMahon with another victory in his pocket. The Vikings are 8 and 7. And Joe Montana will take Kansas City to its final game next week.
The final score, Minnesota 30, Kansas City 10. For Joe Steinsman and our entire ESPN crew, this is Mike Patrick. Good night from Minneapolis.